Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be looking at how to run a pass the hash attack. More to the point, we're going to be doing more than that. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be talking about exactly how you can take a default Ubuntu installation and you can actually modify it so it's capable of doing a pass the hash attack. Uh, the first thing I'd like to show you is the Foofus page that actually has the patch for Samba, so we can actually support past the hash. HTTP colon slash slash www.fufus.net JMK for Jomo Kun forward slash past the hash dot HTML. Once you get in there, it's going to have a couple of different files that you can work with. It's actually got the hash patch patch and it's got the user fix patch or user add user fix. You're also going to need a copy of Samba 3.0.22 or 3.0.24, whichever you decide to work with. In order to get these older versions of Samba, you can go to us3.samba.org forward slash Samba forward slash FTP forward slash old versions. Then you get it all installed and all set up and ready to go. Now, whenever you go through and you're trying to set up and configure SMB mount, the first thing you have to do is you actually have to go through and patch Samba so it supports the pass the hatch that Bufus has released for us. So you're going to have to do a very, very simple patch command. In this situation, it's just patch space dash p0. And then, of course, your input is going to be Samba 3.0.22 add user patch. And you're also going to need to do the same thing for the pass the hatch patch. Now, you may get an error on Ubuntu that says patch is not installed. In order to get it to install, all you need to do is type apt dash get space install space patch and it'll automatically download it for you. Now that you have the actual code patched and ready to go, you have to configure it so it works. Now, once you've got it all configured, sometimes it doesn't work because you don't have SMB mount, which is what I'm going to be demonstrating in this video. So what we're going to have to do is configure it with SMB mount. In order to get that to happen, you do dot forward slash configure space dash dash with dash SMB mount in the Samba directory. Um, it's the directory that I'll actually have the configure command in it. Then you should have everything up and ready to go. So let's take a look at what it looks like whenever you actually have it working properly. So I've already pre-compromised a Windows XP system because we have lots of videos that talk about compromising Windows boxes. So what we're going to do now is we're running within the interpreter itself. As you can see, we have the interpreter up and running. Now we're going to use priv. And if your version of Met uh, Metasploit is actually one of the newer versions of Metasploit 3.2, it's already going to be installed for you. Just wanted to make sure that you know that command. Then you're going to run hash dump hash dump and then it's going to dump the password hashes from that particular computer system now normally you would take these password hashes and this exact output and you would crack it in a tool like John the Ripper today we're not going to be doing that we're going to be doing something just a little bit different so I've already got this set up we're going to copy that password hash and we're going to XMB or excuse me export SMB hash for the administrators password hash on the system that we just compromised get this just a little bit bigger so you can see some of the fun things associated with it. Zoom in. You can see I did export SMB hash and then the password hash for the administrator. Never mind the one up above, it didn't actually copy in all the way. Please notice how there's quotes. Oh, somebody's IMing me porn. That's nice. I like that when people are so kind. Um, so, in the future, maybe I won't have my IM up and running. But you can see that I've got the password hash and I'm exporting that as an environmental variable. So I've got that exported. I hit enter. And then I'm going to go through and I'm going to run the SMB command, SMB mount, in the directory, in this situation it's Argotech, but in Samba 3.0.22 forward slash source forward slash bin. I'm not going to be using the SMB mount that's installed by default on Ubuntu or the one that you've already installed. I want to use the one that I've patched. So now you can see dot forward slash SMB mount, the system that we just compromised with Metasploit with the interpreter, C dollar. MNT hacked, that's the destination we want to actually mount it to, dash O username equals administrator. Administrator. Then I'm going to hit enter and it's going to ask me for the password. At this point you're probably wondering, hey, wait a minute, I thought we were doing pass the hash attack. Don't worry about it. Type something, anything, garbage, ghibli juice. It just doesn't matter. Type something, hit enter, and the modified version of Samba is going to actually substitute the landman hash and the NTLM hash for us. So let's see what it looks like when it works. We're going to do ls mnt 
forward slash hacked. And as you can tell, we've now got the remote Windows system that we just compromised. We've got its C drive mounted on our Linux computer system, and we did not have to crack the password. Now, many people will ask, well, why would I bother doing this? If I've already compromised it with Metasploit, I see absolutely no reason for trying to do a pass the hash attack. Excellent question. Excellent question. So let's take a look. As you can see on this system that I've set up from a dummy system, we have a whole bunch of different accounts. We have Tim, we have Larry, we have Nyan, we have John, we have Jimbo, Jeff, Jane, Bob. Now we can use all of these different hashes, and we can try to compromise additional computer systems without launching an exploit at them. Instead, we can simply try to mount them remotely with modified version of Samba. So this basically reduces your total surface for the target system as you're running a penetration test to actually detect you running your penetration, to te uh, penetration test. And that, my friends, is a very good thing. So until next time, I look forward to seeing you again on Paul.com TV. Take care.